Indian Super League was made to promote football in India. But what if it becomes one of the reasons for downfall? From being the top club for young talents in 2020-21 to clinching the ISL trophy the following year, Hyderabad embodied the Nizam's aspiration to revive their years-old footballing legacy. But it seems all has not been well for Hyderabad FC as the financial crisis has been irritating the club since 2022 despite a financial aid from the Football Sports Development Limited. And the tension was evident between the then coach Manolo Marquez and the management. He left the club after another successful season and now he's also approached FIFA for the unpaid salaries. Fast forward to the season, Conor Nesta, Thangbo Isengdo and Chimil Chimbakat took charge as coaching group. However, things were turbulent even a couple of days before the season kickoff. The club was unable to register players due to an existing transfer ban and the players who were with the club already did not want to join training as they were not paid. To this day, the players are given multiple deadlines on payment but none of them are fulfilled, resulting in the exit of foreigners like Jonathan Moya, Felipe Amorim and Osvaldo. Several Indian players have put letters for contract termination. However, the lower paying employees were the ones who suffered the most as they even struggled to pay for their food and players eventually stepped in to cover it. One of the players even covered the expenses of the surgery of a staff member's wife. First team coach Conan Nestor was removed after the first seven games without any proper communication from the club. Players were informed by Jao Victor, the club captain, through a WhatsApp message about the coaching change. And it was only on Monday, Conor Nesta and goalkeeping coach Rory announced that they are no longer associated with the club. Hyderabad FC is now reeling at the rock bottom of the league standings due to inner turmoil. There were few talks of new investors coming in, but nothing concrete had materialised till now. Hyderabad FC is in need of quick financial injections, or the future of the club remains alarmingly dangerous. 